In Roblox Entrenched, we spent three entire days turning this pile of mud into this giant death bunker. I then invited 120 players into the game to see if they could beat it. And no, I'm not joking when I say that the guards literally spent 72 hours building this bunker. They even developed completely broken exploits never before seen in Roblox Entrenched. So, can they do it? Can 120 players really capture this bunker? We'll be watching the battle using footage from both the defenders as well as the attackers to make sure we capture every angle of the chaos as it unfolds. This is the biggest Roblox World War 1 simulation you will ever see. What we're doing is we're digging, we're basically trying to scout the map and like how, how easily like defendable this would be and just trying to get an idea of like what the terrain is like. Before we started the build, we had to scout it out. What we found is that the bunker consists of four main tactical layers, the moat, the foundations, the second floor and the roof. However, we still didn't know how many access points there were joining them all together. So there was one more thing to do, dig. After digging out the most important parts, it looks like the only access to the roof is from this side here, which we've decided to call the SpongeBob site, for obvious reasons. If we completely fill the moat with barbed wire, then do the same thing to the ramp, the enemy's advance will be painfully slow. Three sniper teams will then be placed behind the bunker, picking them off one by one. Now, we have identified one slight problem. There is a bridge that allows the Scots army to bypass the moat as well as the foundations, getting them straight onto the second layer. So it's time to develop our first disgusting exploit to give ourselves an unfair advantage. If this makes you angry, please remember that I don't care and it gets worse. It gets a lot worse. If we can stop them getting to that ladder, uh, sorry, get, getting up onto that wall, then we can literally deny them access to the ladder in the first place. And then so the only way on that side would then be the ramp. So we can't dig this bit, let me see, because it's a spawn. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. Hold on. I might have done it. It's like a tiny little slither. Have I? Have we got this? Because if you can get the terrain just under it, if you can get the terrain just under it, I think we've done it. I think we've got it. Uh, yeah, we've done it. Okay, we can do it. 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 Nice, 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 yes! nice. It would do easy. And that's right next to it as well. Yeah, we can completely deny them access to that. That's totally fine. Yeah, bro, we, we were literally cheesing this so hard. This is going to be sick. By the way, I want to test something out. So everyone go to the back, the SpongeBob side. So back to the SpongeBob side. I was really hoping that we could climb the tether up to the top of the zeppelin. Nah, they're not no, solid. No. Unfortunately, we can't climb it, but I did come up with a genius new plan. Uh, lads, oh. I just got green. I just got oh. green. Oh my god. <laughs> no way if we can if we can spiral staircase this. Oh, I got a green one high up. I just got to keep clicking and hope that it goes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh my god, we're actually gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> we're literally gonna tower up to the set. Bro, this is so cursed. Yep, that's right. We can officially build up to the top of the zeppelins. But no, it's not easy. Well, not for a mere mortal like me. Yo, who's that in the distance? Who is doing so well on this? Oh my god. Wait a minute, what? How did we not see that? Bro, he's halfway up the zeppelin. Oh, bro, it's bloody bendy one. Bro, he literally... <laughs> That's right, for this Roblox Entrenched Guards vs. Army battle, we just developed a brand new game exploit. But if you thought this was bad, well it gets even worse. We can shoot out of the Zeppelin, but the enemy can't shoot into it. Um, okay, well, <laughs> no it doesn't go through, but he can fire back! <laughs> Look at his position! This is so broken, it's ridiculous. Earlier in the video, we were going to put three sniper teams behind the Spongebob sides, but that idea is out the window because now we've got a new one. The three sniper teams will now occupy three zeppelins, raining bullets onto the enemy from the sky. So this whole area here is a moat that we will dig out. We'll, we'll dig it out and we'll literally fill it with our 
barbed wire. So this is like the top level. You know the top level they can't get up to. The only way they can get up to this top level here is from this direction and this direction. There's also this level here, which has got an access point there, or... They can, of course, like, come round here like this. Basically, the entire, entire enemy team is going to be attacking through there to get into our fortress area. What we have got is we will have Balloon 1, SpongeBob Balloon, and Balloon 3. All of those guys will be literally firing onto the back of the enemy as they advance into that position. Now, there's also this area here. I'm just going to put an X there because we've destroyed that road. They cannot get to that ladder. So the majority of them are going to be focused around this area here. If we're going to make an escape anywhere, I think our best bet is like, if you look how close this is to the side of the fortress, we literally run off the side here, round the corner and directly into a tunnel there and away we go. The Scots Guards have now officially scouted and planned their strategy for the upcoming war. And with that, everyone turned in for the night, ready for preparations to begin the following day. The 72 hour build has begun. Over the next three days, the Scots Guards are gonna dig their entire bunker in preparation for 120 Scots Army descending upon it. Because of the sheer number of players, the Scots Guards have now lost not one, but two Guards versus Army bunker raids. However, this is quite literally the biggest ever Roblox World War One base building that has ever even been attempted, so surely nothing can get inside. What we need to do is we need to dig all of this stuff, but be very careful not to dig our upper layer. So now we know what we have to do, it's time to get to work. Now, you might be wondering why we're leaving the roof untouched. Imagine if the army spawns in, runs up the hill, and then just spams grenades onto the roof. If we dug it out flat, then we're all gonna die. However, if we leave dirt, digging trenches and foxholes at the end, we can hunker down and stay alive. As day one comes to an end, the bunker is starting to take shape. The children yearn for the mines. So I go to bed, but my forced labor continues to work through the night. We're now into day two and the Scots Guards have been working through the night. It's around 36 hours until 120 Scots Army soldiers come knocking at our door. So let's see where we got to. So it turns out Yarnk has been building all through the night. It's quite literally five in the morning. At this point, I think I might be breaking many, many, many child labor laws. So reluctantly, we send him to bed. As I said, the children yearn for the mines. What I will say is thank you for digging through the night. Go the hell to bed. <laughs> now me and the boys decided to do a quick lap of the moat to make sure it was empty. Looking from bird's eye view, it definitely is, and also we've excavated pretty much the entire bunker. With most of our digging completed, we turn our attention to barbed wire. We are going to completely fill this entire bunker, top to bottom, in barbed wire. In fact, the SpongeBob side ramp has already started. Now remember earlier in the video, we were planning and we figured out how to deny people access to the ladder. Well, let's do that again. With most of our scum tactics well underway, it's finally time to start laying down some barbed wire. We're
with a huge amount of barbed wire placed and still over 24 hours until the battle even starts, we begin digging even further outside the moat to create an inescapable pit of misery and despair. Whilst I'm more than happy to abandon my men to the labor camp community service, I do feel like it's time to get my hands dirty, so into the mines I go. The bunker is starting to look like a final boss dungeon, so we're definitely on track. The dirt is gone, the barbed wire is up, the ladder has been removed, and any hopes of seeing our families ever again is but a distant memory. Now in this Roblox entrenched server, I do have two accounts. If one of my computer crashes and I'm the only person in the game, the server would vanish overnight. So I AFK both my computers at the same time. Unfortunately for my volunteer tier labor force, this does mean that I've got a constant eye on the Scots guards at work, and they weren't working fast enough. So I lined them up for some motivation, including my other account. I survived, I believe, I'm too good. Oh, I shouldn't have told you to go at the back. So I can't believe that I'm saying this, but um, once again I've just woken up. This is day three of the Entrenched Fortress build. So you see these fine Scots guards here. They've been AFKing all night to keep the server alive. Let's see what they heard up to. Piper, what are you doing? <laughs> Piper. Even the Scots guards are having a hard time moving around the bunker and they built it. He's literally just walking through the barbed wire. Now, as we do every morning, I grouped up with some of the guards for a quick inspection of the bunker. Remember, today is the day of the fight. The day that 120 soldiers of the Scots army lay siege to the Scots guard stronghold. We did a quick perimeter check and then we realized the outer, outer moat is looking a little bit untouched. It was uneven and not much of it had barbed wire, so that had to change. So this bit here has got barbed wire all the way around. I think we probably want to do that in like this cavity area here as well. Oh my god, literally straight away Lone Wolf is on it. No hesitation. He's literally straight onto the build team. Now at this point, just about everything was ready and all we needed to do was dig an escape tunnel for if somehow the Scots army breaches the walls of this doomed turtle. The easiest way to escape the rooftop of Verdun was off the right side of the Spongebob side. The least number of enemies would be here and this is where running the gauntlet would also be the fastest. Over here, we can probably have the tunnel down at this bit sort of hidden almost. That's a good idea. Once more, the children yearned for the mines and down they went. In no time at all they dug to the edge of the map at which point I started streaming to my discord and everything from this point onwards was about one frame per minute so I decided not to include it. All you need to know is that we dug a decoy tunnel to trick the enemy into a trap and our real tunnel split off to the side without being marked by duck boards so if enemy players somehow did find us they would be in a certified kill box. In summary if we somehow how lose the bunker, this is where we make the final stand. It's the calm before the storm. In just two hours, the Scots army will flood the hillside and lay siege to the doom bunker. And so the final Scots guard rally begins. Let's recap the strategy. The entire bunker has been stripped of dirt and replaced with barbed wire, and the bridge and ladder access have been removed. Guards will be positioned on the rooftop and the army have to attack from the SpongeBob sides as artillery and snipers pick them off one by one. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that there is in fact the Rick Astley in the bunker which of course will be top priority to defend. With the clock ticking down to war it was about time we fortify the roof. The build has been completed, the roof has been fortified, it's time to deploy the dirtiest scum tactic you will ever see in a Roblox trench war.
There we have it. The snipers are in position and the doom bunker is ready for war. These are the rules of the battle. There will be 30 Scots guards against 120 Scots army. The army will have 60 minutes to siege the bunker. If the army kill all the guards, then they win. However, if a single guard survives, then they win. The damage modifier has been set to 0.5 for everyone and the Scots army must be a medic class to stop them from digging. Also, today I will not have one but two players in the game. Alright lads, let's go. Literally look at these guys running down the road. They don't know it, but they're about to meet the fight of their life. I mean the army? Well, there's a lot of them. Oh my god. Now, I believe one of my commanders might actually be... <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, he's got a sniper. So we've left a couple of guys in sneaky hidey positions. That's, that is one of my commanders. That is Jesus. My sniper has this way too far back. All 120 Scots army are piling up the hill, once again being led into battle by Kaiser Bank. Guys on the right side there's a little trend here where I am I'm jumping you can come here and uh, start returning fire <gasps> Try to advance a bit. We, we need to get as close as possible. Also, watch out for. for uh... Bro's got PTSD already from these events. Bro, if you're getting nervous now, you do not know what you're in for. You do not have the slightest clue what you are about to encounter. As they get closer, the guards open fire. They're climbing up the hill, boys. Get ready. It doesn't look like there's nearly as many of them now, but it, none of them appear to have died, but it's just because they've spread out so far. As more of the Scots army come into view of the Doom Bunker, they start to spread wide, engulfing the bunker from every direction. Right, I can't, I can't believe they dig, dig out all of this for three days straight up. These guys must be absolutely traumatized. Look at these guys here. Sir, what are you doing? Oh, it's a decoy! Ah! <laughs> the decoy got me! And they are actually slowly but surely cutting it. Well, actually, not so slowly. They are. They're making their way through here. They're just lads smashing down barbed wire left, right, and center. They're all over the place. Are the guards? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Bruh, I am dead. No, it's Banner Lord. Banner Lord, bro. What's going on? No, we've got a second guard casualty. I don't believe it. I don't know where I was shot from. We got... No! How? How, 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 how is this happening? Both teams have taken a few initial casualties. However, the Scots army still hasn't even got close to the roof of the Doom Bunker. Slowly but surely, they are cutting their way through the barbed wire. But to my shock and horror, Rick Astley has been left completely undefended. These guys keep poking their heads and they just need to stop. The guards need to stop poking their heads and they just need to allow the enemy to come to them. Okay, the guards, the guards appear to have stabilized. It looks to me like... Like the guards may in fact have actually stabilized here. The army is no longer concentrating fire. Let's get into the SpongeBob balloon. Look at the view this guy's got. Look at the view this guy's got. Hold on, he's shooting that guy down there. If he gets that kill, bro. Oh, come on, hit your shots. This Zeppelin sniper strategy was one of the best ideas we've ever had. Sadly though, my snipers can't hit their shots. Come on, these snipers are not doing nearly enough damage. They're not doing nearly enough damage. This guy's got, like, literally, it's free real estate. Surely, okay, come on. You, surely, you just need to start shooting. Please start shooting. Oh, there we go. We've got a casualty. We've got a dead soldier over here. I think, honestly, having them all as medics, like, it's, it's just gonna be so hard for the guards to kill them because they are just infinitely healing up. Look over here. Let's see. Look, these guys are actually slowly, but surely, there's a couple of army on top. Go, 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 go. Everyone, go, go, charge. Like, overrun them. Literally just. I want this whole plateau taken over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're behind us, they're behind us. Behind. <laughs> they're floating over. Oh no. No. I'm I died. 
I'm doing, yeah. so, much, so, doing so much damage to Dan. Outnumbered four to one, somehow the Doom Bunker still falls to the hands of the Scots army. Even when we make them all medics, it is literally impossible. Is the Indian man dead? He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet, but he's about to be, surely. He's making a valiant last stand here. However, it's not over yet because the Scots guards still have a final stand and they're beginning a tactical withdrawal. Please kick, please kick. Yep. If you can, get the kill, kill, kill. Yeah, if you can run, do it. Right, lads, spread out, spread out a bit and uh, search for any more uh, guards. The army doesn't know where the rest of them are. Okay, so have these guys managed to get away? Okay, look at this. The guards are making their way back to the retreat point here. Hold on a second. I think one of them's found it. Who is it? They found it. Wait here. Yeah, they found it. They found it. They're going in. And there's three Germans going into the tunnels. Let's see if they manage to go down the right way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm subbing in. I'm subbing in. Here we go. This is where both of my players come into the game. It's time to get my hands dirty and take down some army. Let's get in here, boys. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. For the first time ever, I'm actually going to play one of these events rather than just mince around. Let's get some kills, lads. Let's get some kills. Tell you what, I'm going on a solo mission, lads. I'm going on a solo mission. I'm going to get some early kills here before they figure it out. I'm going to try and get some early kills before, before they figure out what's happening and attack together. Okay, die, nerd. Die. Okay, one down. One down. Oh no, oh no, I bit off more than I can chew. I'm digging us out behind you, Scott. I'm digging us out behind you, Scott. Uh, Jesus, I wouldn't dig a tunnel to the top because they're on, they're up there, they're up there. Ah! One here, one here, sorry, sorry, Scott. My bad. I died, I died. Watch out back. Um. Jesus, what are you doing? That was literally the only reason that we didn't. I, I, I've got another account. I'm going on to my other account. Both of my players have been put to the sword. Jesus has exposed our position and only the Zeppelins remain. Ivan, go up above, all right? The last guy, it's in the SpongeBob cloud. Hold on a second. The Germans managed to get onto the SpongeBob Zeppelin. H how? There's two Germans down here. And guess where they are? They're literally on the SpongeBob blimp overlooking the base. Wait, hold on a second. He said for Scotland. I think he's going to make a play. No way, no way! I don't believe it, come on, get the, if he gets it, no! I don't believe it, the guy's been punched off to his death, I don't believe it, the casualties down there. Subscribe, because next time we're going even bigger. Join the Discord to get involved.